Here's a continuation on our series on renewable energy, and now I'd like to talk a little bit about geothermal. So as the name suggests, geo meaning earth, thermal meaning heat. When the earth was formed four and a half billion years ago, various processes were set into motion that made the interior of the earth much hotter than the surface. So, and we're all aware of this, we see geysers and we go, or, or volcanoes and we go, there's obviously a lot of heat down there. So the question is, how can we extract that heat? How can we turn that into useful energy? And the answer is geothermal. So what we do here is we drill holes in the Earth's surface down to a point where there is um, a great deal of heat. We take a fluid out of one side. We extract the heat. We put it down on the other side, and it moves back through forming a kind of, I guess you could say, a circular pattern of this moving fluid. Um, and when it comes to the surface, we take the heat out of it and just simply send it back. So this is a, um, a fantastic, people have been talking about this and in fact doing this in, at various levels for a very long period of time. Now, of course, with the energy shortage, everybody concerned about the problems associated with coal and nuclear and the oil issue with respect to the fact that we are borrowing a billion dollars a day and sending it to people who really don't like us. Um, we are exploring new areas, and geothermal is an important one. Here's something to like about geothermal is that it's not intermittent. You may be aware that uh, issues with solar and wind energy are, are rooted in the fact that the sun goes down at night and the wind doesn't blow all the time. So we're, and this is called intermittency, the fact that they're not, they don't, they are not constant in providing power to us. Geothermal, however, is not intermittent. So power companies will buy geothermal energy just as if it came from a coal-fired power plant. It's completely clean. And uh, here's something else about this. There are places on Earth where there really aren't a lot of other choices. So for instance, there's not a lot of biomass, there's not a lot of sun and so forth. But fairly consistently, there, if you go, if you drill down, uh, drilling can be an issue, that you're drilling through the hardest rock on the surface of the earth, but, but there is energy down there, there is heat down there. So what are the issues with respect to geothermal? Well, one is that it's risky. Um, as I mentioned, the, this, you are drilling through the surface of the earth that's the hardest to get through, and there's no way of knowing in advance what you're going to find when you get there. So you can wind up with the equivalent of a dry hole, as they used to say in oil exploration. The other issue, obviously, is that it's expensive. So the, the, this whole process um, is not inexpensive. Having said that, if we can perfect, if we can develop this, these um, processes that we call geothermal, this is going to be fantastic simply because there's so much of it. It's a never-ending supply. It's completely available and clean. So we'll see what happens with respect to geothermal.